All right. I assume we are live already. And we should so, be good to go. <laughs> hello, everyone. Uh, I'll be I'll be doing Kirby's Greenland any percent or so it as it's called. It's also called normal mode, but that's literally the same category. So we're gonna be beating the game through the normal mode. This game does has an extra mode as well, which adds a lot of new stuff to the game. So anyway, let's get started. The timing time is gonna be when I when I press start on the title screen. So. In three, two, one, go. All right. So we have green greens, green greens. This music, even if you haven't really played this game before, if you have played any other Kirby game, you're probably gonna recognize this music because yeah, this music is pretty much remixed in every single Kirby game, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna complain about it. That's the best part of this song, really. It's truly innovative music and iconic in every way. Like, yeah. they did so much with audio design in this game with such little data at the time. It's just astounding to me. Yeah, got a little bit of better RNG in this boss. So, Bobby Barras Jr., he can... If he decides to dance, there isn't much that we can do about it. So, this, this mini boss is kind of like a big reset point pretty early in the run. Luckily, it's like in the first 20 seconds, so... Yeah, if it gives you a better RNG, you can just reset. So, yeah, this first stage pretty much shows all the main mechanics of Kirby. You know, we can jump, walk, and... Basically, we can inhale and... and speed enemies, and... Yeah, that's pretty much what the game is all about. And we have our first boss, which is Wispy Woods. And again, this is another boss that... It shows up in a lot of different Kirby games as well. With some different mechanics. So, that was actually a really good RNG. I didn't got... Like, he didn't blow too much wind. That was actually a pretty nice one. Compared to the, to the mini boss. So, now we are going for Lolo Castle. And this level, casually, this is a pretty big level. There's a lot of mazes and stuff, but yeah, on a speed run, we just get the we get the faster route. We know the way out. Zoom. <laughs> yeah. So another mini boss. This one is kind of like an ultra schoolerish boss, like. We just need to get the block and damage him. So right now I'm gonna go for a, a kind of unusual strat. I'm gonna grab the curry. And I'm gonna go for curry kill on the upcoming boss. So the curry kill is a kind of risky strat because you need to have a very much perfect movement to be able to use the curry during the beginning of the fight and you also need a good RNG of the boss so I'm pretty much praying to get a good RNG. Alright, that was pretty good. So. That was really good. <laughs> nice shot. That was amazing RNG. <laughs> That's not the RNG that I get when I practice this. So yeah, uh, you, you guys didn't notice that we were supposed to be fighting two bosses but we killed one of them with a curry. So yeah, we pretty much skipped an entire like an entire boss there. A spicy fight, if you will. Yeah. Now, Float Island. This is a level that... It's pretty laggy. So, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be trying to reduce the lag on the screen. So, this is an uh, intentional damage boost to reduce the lag as well. So, I will be also killing some enemies on screen to reduce lag, pretty much. Like, there's a lot of sprites on screen, the game just lags, and I can lose a little bit of time with that, so it's small optimization that we can do in the game. Yeah, 
there's there goes that um that whole idea of little amounts of data in, in these games, so like I can't really handle all of these assets on screen or enemies. It's <laughs> it's a lot of engineering behind old retro games that I'm always astounded by. Yeah, I did grab that curry on accident, so uh, normally we wouldn't grab the curry, but I tried to go for a damage boost and I got damage boost on the wrong way, so we got the curry, but yeah, double curries on the run, so... That's good luck, right? <laughs> yeah. The curry for... the curry to get better luck on the... on the upcoming bosses, pretty much. <laughs> I'm a little bit low on the health, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful in this boss. So this is Kabula. Kabula is... this... balloon, and... I don't want to get shot by it, so I'm just gonna be staying a little bit, you know, away from it, so I don't take too much damage. Yeah, that was a that was a good safe fight. Like normally, when you have more health than that, you would just be like very close to it to reduce the amount of time that Kirby needs to to blow the wind on it. So bubbly clouds. This is. Uh, one of the longest stages in this game, and this is actually the like the final actual stage that we are gonna be that we're gonna be playing. And this stage again has a lot of lag reduction, so I'm gonna be killing that enemy there because he uses a beam and it causes a lot of lag. So I kill that enemy to prevent lag. Another damage boost here, just to be able to run past those enemies. So yeah, now this one section here is probably one of the the hardest sections to optimize in this game because if you miss a single movement there, there isn't much that you can do to dodge enemies. But, well, I think it was okay. I only took one health, so not too bad. So another mini boss. This is Crackle Jr. This boss fight is kind of auto, kind of like an auto scroller, and so is most of the upcoming sections. So if we have any donations, this is actually a really nice, like a really nice time to read them. I do. I have fifty dollars from Double Dealer saying thanks for yet another awesome marathon. We also have a hundred dollars from Lady JD saying. I love the runs, and I can't stop watching. Hope this helps reach some of the goals, and good luck to the runners. I also have a $25 donation from Go Lackey saying, Let's go! I think we have time for one more. One more? Awesome. We have $100 from Rayu Kane saying, Here's to a great cause from a great community. Always nice to see these wholesome events in such dire times. Thank you so much, Ray you came. All right, now we are heading up to Crackle, which is probably one of the biggest sources of RNG in this game. And this boss can do three things, and there's only one thing that we want is we want him to throw enemies at us so we can damage him. But sometimes he just doesn't have it. Let's hope we can get a good RNG. That was a good start. Yeah, he get beam. So yeah, this fight can be you, you can like beat Crackle in a minute or in three minutes, depending on RNG. Like there's some instances where the boss decides to not throw a single enemy at you at all. But that was a pretty average Crackle. Yeah, it looks like uh, Crackle gave us a lot of friends to play with. Yeah. Exactly. And now M Mount DDD. So this is pretty much the final level. So something pretty interesting that Kir Kirby does is not only we get refights, but we also get like this little bit of like revisit in some level sections. And I don't know the section here from Lolo Castle, so it's kind of new. We don't really get to see the section in the in the speed run because we we go for another route. So it's a pretty interesting thing. 
I did take a little bit of damage there. You can damage boost into this boss to do damage, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to be playing safe. Oh, I ended up missing that hit. But no big deal. Just a few more hits. And now we are gonna be seeing we're gonna be seeing Krakow again. Oh, I took that damage. That was <laughs> Yeah, I, I ended up confused like I had a little bit of confusion going down there. I thought I could already press right. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Muscle that memory. section is so it's so similar that it just sometimes it just your muscle memory just decides to not work sometimes. So yeah, Krakow, let's hope to get more friends here. Let's see. Alright, three more hits. Oh! Alright, two more. Oh. Come on, friend! Alright, one more. One more. There Yay. we go. <laughs> there goes Krakow. And now we are going to be fighting Kabula again. Uh, and I'm probably going to be playing it safe in this boss fight, just like I did when we first faced him. Because I really don't want to mess up on DDD. DDD is a really tough boss if you have like one or two health. So I'm going to be playing a little bit safe here. Is there a specific order uh, for the speedrun that you do the boss rush in? Uh, basically, we do Lolo and Lalala -la -la first to save like some frames because when you when you enter the arena you're far from you're far to the left so we go for them first but after then we start in the middle so we can go at to any order that we want after them they need to be the first but the rest is just it's pretty much personal preference or depending on like the level you get into the game is rng grind that's why i go for crackle second just for the, the rng grind mm -hmm. Oh, Wispy Woods again. We're gonna be fighting the same boss that we faced on the first level. Again, it still has the RNG of the wind. He did two. Oh, alright, that's two. Oh, alright. Missed a couple hits there. It's fine. Just need more apples. And there we go. We are heading up to the final boss. So, this is DDD. DDD can jump or he can use the hammer. We want him to do any of those, but if he decides to just walk, we're gonna lose a little bit of time. So we really, we are really hoping for good RNG here, jumps and hammers. And yeah, that was a little bit bad because this is the attack that takes the mo longer to for him to stop. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he doesn't oh, get hungry. Yeah. Okay, two jumps in a row. All right. Yeah, hungry DDD. So two more hits. Time is coming up on the final hit. So get ready on time as soon as I do the final hit. So time. Very nice. GG. Nice. GG. I don't really had, really had a timer going on, but I feel like that might be in like a sub. 13 or something, which is actually a pretty nice time, marathon-wise, considering the RNGs and how safe I played. So, yeah. Yep. It looks like, yep, 12.40 was the time. 12.40. Yeah, very nice run. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was, that was Kirby. I hope everyone enjoyed the run and... Yeah, I highly recommend everyone picking up this game because it is a really easy game to learn. Like, it's pretty simple. Like, the only biggest problem of the game is RNG, but, you know, when you get more consistent in the levels, you can just grind it out. There is also RNG manipulation for this game, but it's very, very precise. So, like, it's a really advanced strat to do, but you don't really need that to start up with the game. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks everyone for having me, and I hope everyone have a good time in the marathon. 
Thank you so much, Kiwami. I always love a great Kirby run. They're just so cute, and I love just seeing how you optimize going through the levels in Kirby. I do have quite a bit of great donations here to read, so let's get to it. We've got $50 from Alex Rye saying, good luck to all the runners today. And thank you to all the runners and everyone with GDQ for an awesome week of speed runs. I have $25 from Kiki Mui saying, last day hype? 1,000K hype? Let's go. Good luck to all the runners today. We have $250 from Air Hadoken saying, it's been a very tough month of August for me due to injury. So thanks to the Flame Fatal runners for giving me a week of distraction. Let's get that VVV, VVV incentive. And I agree, I, we need to get that Met Chat. There is only one more run between now and VVV, VVV. So let's get in those donations. So I have $50 from MB saying, thanks for contributing to the education of women. All right, and with that chat, I will be passing this on to a break. Uh, so enjoy. This will be the last you'll hear from me for this event, but thank you all for being so wonderful. Thank you all for your generosity. And cute chat, stay cute. Bye, Funda 5. Bye, Funda 5. Bye, Funda 5. मैं चाहती हूँ कि मेरी जो दलित वर्ग के लोग हैं, वंचित वर्ग के लोग हैं, मुसहर हैं, मुस्लिम हैं, इन सभी समुदाय के बच्चियाँ और बच्चे दोनों ही पढ़ लिख कर के बहुत आगे जाएं, जिससे गरीबी और सामाजिक रूप से जो बदलाव आना चाहिए वो आ सके। इंडिया इस यू नो इस वन ऑफ़ द बिगेस्ट democracies in the world. The challenges that girls are facing vary depending on which part of India you talk about. But in some places, you can get discriminated. You may not be able to get access to education. You may not be allowed to get into a school. Girls may not find a school nearby in her village, or she may not feel safe because there's the issue of sexual harassment or abuse when she goes from her home to school. This is something that needs our attention and that, uh, that Malala Fund is right now working on. मेरा नाम रीता है मैं सामुदायिक कल्याण विकास संस्थान की सचिव के पद पे काम करती हूँ मेरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का गोल है कि मैं दलित और वंचित वर्ग के बच्चों विशेषकर महिलाओं और बच्चियों के लिए उनकी शिक्षा और उनकी आजीविका के लिए काम करती हूँ हमारे जो ग्रामीण क्षेत्र हैं इसमें शिक्षा की स्थिति बहुत बुरी है आठवीं के बाद बच्चियां जो हैं खास करके वो ड्रॉप आउट हो जाती हैं क्योंकि उनके पास कोई ऑप्शन नहीं होता कि उनके पेरेंट्स के पास इतना पैसा नहीं होता कि वो पढ़ा सकें किसी को तो वो ज़्यादातर लड़कियों को वो घर के काम खेतों के काम ज़्यादातर ये बच्चियां संभालती हैं तो हम लोग जब मलाला फंड के साथ हम लोग काम करना शुरू किए तो सबसे पहले हम लोग यही देखे कि सबसे ज़्यादा ड्रॉप आउट बच्चियाँ किस गाँव में हैं जिस जगह पे ड्रॉप आउट बच्चियों की संख्या ज़्यादा होती है हम पहले वहाँ पर सेंटर शुरू करते हैं और छः महीने के बाद देखते हैं कि जब ये बच्चियाँ कुछ पढ़ लिख गईं और उनको हम इनरोल करा दिए और इनरोल कराने के बाद भी हम देखते हैं कि वो ठहराव हो रहा है स्कूल में कि नहीं हो रहा है तब फिर हम दूसरे गाँव में सेंटर को चेंज करते हैं अभी तक हमने रिजल्ट देखे हैं कि पाँच की संख्या हम अचीव कर चुके हैं इनको इनरोल करा चुके हैं और इस्कूल में इनका ठहराव हो चुका है इस साल का जो हमारा टारगेट है वो भी इतना ही का है और फिर अगले साल हम देखेंगे जो बच्चियां बचेंगी उनका फिर हम इनरोल कराएंगे ये लोग सोचते हैं कि लड़कियां पढ़कर क्या करेंगी कुछ करेंगी तो है नहीं सिर्फ पढ़ाने से उनका पैसा खर्च होगा और लड़कों को पढ़ाएंगे तो लड़के कुछ कर सकते हैं उनको कमा कर खिलाएंगे और लड़कियाँ क्या करेंगी कुछ नहीं मलाला फन के आने से जो हमारी लड़कियों पर और हमारी संस्था पर दोनों पर बहुत ज़्यादा प्रभाव पड़ा है लड़कियां जो स्कूल नहीं जाती थी जिनको बिल्कुल लग रहा था कि नहीं नहीं एजुकेशन कुछ नहीं है वो बहुत ज़्यादा अवेयर हुई हैं और अब स्कूल जाने के लिए बहुत तत्पर हुई हैं आर्थिक तंगी से मेरी पढ़ाई रुक गई थी मैं मलाला फंड के लोग आए मेरे माता पिता से जागरूक करवाए और मेरे एडमिशन करवाए तब से मेरी पढ़ाई चालू 
होने लगी फ्यूचर में इन बच्चियों को बहुत आगे बढ़ाना है एजुकेशन के मामले में लाइवलीहुड के मामले में इन्हें बहुत आगे ले जाना है यही मेरा सपना है यही मेरा प्लान भी है Char Bunny and I am so excited to be back as your host for these next runs. We're here raising money for Malala Fund. Malala Fund is working for a world where all girls can learn and lead. Malala Fund advocates for resources and policy changes needed to give all girls a secondary education, invests in local education leaders, and amplifies the voices of girls fighting for change. You can learn more at malala.org, which is M A L A L A dot O R G. And you know what? Speaking of awesome women and education, chat. Has there been a female educator that's made a difference in your life? Maybe someone who got you excited about learning or gave you a head start in school. I think it would be awesome to hear about them. I think it would be amazing if we donated in honor of those who helped us out. In the spirit of helping out others, I'll make sure to put my donation in after my hosting shift ends. But I would love it if I could just be reading about people who've made a difference for you, women who've helped you with your education. I think that'd be such a positive thing for us to do as a community. So if that sounds good to you too, I'd love to see those donations rolling in. And of course, speaking of donations, we definitely have more coming through. We have sixty dollars from Bookworm, who, or Bookworm Forty Two, who says this has been a wonderful event, and I'm happy to have had the chance to contribute to such a great cause. Now let's do things the hard way, which is a great reminder that chat. We have an unmet incentive. We don't like those. We like met incentives, but we currently have an unmet incentive for VVV VVV, which is coming up, I believe, right after this run. So we don't have a lot of time, and if we meet that. Uni and Flygon are going to obtain the Doing Things the Hard Way trinket. Now we're currently at about two thousand five hundred dollars out of a needed five thousand five hundred, so we really need your help to make this happen. We only have this run to raise the remaining amount, three thousand more dollars. So please, if you can donate, help us out there. With that though. I've gotten word we're ready to start. So if you caught the Legend of Vanna run earlier this week, you know we're in for a treat because it's time for some awesome adventuring action with Spoonie and her run of Final Fantasy IV. 